had just got done eating his baby cereal for the day. That's his lunch. So I usually don't do anything for breakfast and then I do baby cereal for lunch and then I do some kind of um, baby food for dinner and he will try um, green peas tonight for the first time. So we'll see how that goes. Um, overall, he hasn't liked green beans. He liked carrots okay. And now we're on to green peas. So we're getting through those vegetables, huh? He doesn't really care to sit in the high chair for very long, so I have to go fast. <laughs> but we're all done now, huh? I've been teaching him all done, where I just wave my hands and I say, all done, all done. Yeah, and pretty soon he'll sign it back to me, huh? And we'll say, all done. He's like, what? I was just thinking to myself how I think baby feeding is my least favorite part about parenting and especially like infants. I think that's my least favorite, whether it be breastfeeding, um, which is stressing out about, is my milk supply up? Is he getting enough to drink? I can't see because there's no bottle. That, whether it's formula, it's expensive, whether it's baby cereal, I'm stressing out about that because I have to make sure I have enough breast milk to mix in with it. So I'm always having to like pump to have more in a bag so I can mix with it. Or whether it's baby food, which is expensive and messy. And I really just don't enjoy feeding babies they don't like to eat the food they are impatient they spit it out half the time it takes forever to feed them i like it much better when they're a toddler you can just leave food on the tray they eat you know what they want and you can you know watch them but also do other things at the same time so i was just thinking about that like i should i should vlog about this <laughs> feeding is my least favorite part <laughs> about babies but we got through another feeding and i will record when we do green peas tonight we have um, Berkeley at our house. My parents are on spring break vacation with my brother who's a senior in high school. So this is his last spring break of high school. And so they're in Florida. And so while they're away, we are babysitting their dog, Berkeley. Say hi, Berkeley. She is a mini Labradoodle. She's the sweetest dog. I call her Nana Dog because if you've ever seen Peter Pan, that dog is called Nana and it's just like the nicest, sweetest dog. She's so nice with my kids, even though they're rough and Gray's like always pulling her tail and Porter's grabbing her fur and ripping it off. She's like the nicest dog to them and she's so chill. She's very low maintenance, which is why I can take her on in addition to my two kids. Um, all the other dogs that my siblings have are a little, well, they're younger, like they're puppies, so it's harder to take care of them. But Berkeley, she's three. She's like about the same age as Gray because I remember they got her like right before, or right after Gray was born. Um, and so she's like really mellowed out now. She used to be crazy when she was little, but um, yeah, so we're watching her. It's been a little chaotic just because like if she wants to go outside and then the kids need me for other things like I have to prioritize. Um, but we've been taking her on walks, which has been dysfunctional because I have um, Grayson who is obsessed with drains and sewage drains right now and wants to poke his head in. I swear he needs to watch the movie It because there's like the monster living down there. And then he has to, you know, stop every five seconds. He wants me to hold him while I'm pushing the stroller. I have poured who at least he's strapped to the stroller so he's easy but then he's kicking his socks off every three seconds so I'm having to stop put it back on his foot keep walking and then I have Berkeley who wants to sniff every single thing if there's a garage open she wants to go in the garage she doesn't want to go half the time so it's a little chaotic to have her here but uh, she's going home tomorrow so um, we've almost made it and now I'm going to wipe Porter because he's yelling at me and then um, we'll just play a little before his nap time. Are you gonna crawl? Look at him, he's on all fours. Are you gonna crawl, Bubba? He's rocking like he wants to. Wanna play hide and seek? Are you gonna Wanna crawl? I've got this one trying to crawl. Wanna Berkeley hide. wants to play. Wanna and Grayson wants to do hide and seek. He has peed his pants twice today, so he has no pants on. Where do we go pee pee? In the pot. Yeah, in the potty. Hi, Porter. You gonna crawl? Ooh, I'm 
you gonna cry? Ready? Ready? He wants to play. Ready? Ready? Oh, Berkeley just took it. Ready? Ready? Okay, go hide. Yeah. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Hmm. Where could Grayson be? Is he behind the what? White. White? Light. Light. Light? Is he behind the light? No. No. Is he behind the chair? Oh, there you are. We found him. gives away his hiding spot. Is he behind the high chair? No. No. Is he behind the chair? <gasps> there you are! That's not really a hiding spot. Hey guys! Okay, so I have Porter here and it is dinner time and so we are going to feed him green peas for the first time and get his reaction. Say hi, Gray! Okay, here we go. Okay, so he's not really opening his mouth. I don't think he really likes them. <laughs> he's just like staring at me and I keep trying to give it to him. He's just kind of mad about it, I think. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen, the screen and not the camera. slice, which is what he's chewing on now more than the peas. <laughs> also ignore my toddler in the background. He's having a tantrum because he kept touching the camera after I told him not to. Grayson has started to learn to say no anytime I ask him to do something. Um, I honestly thought we would get to that stage a lot earlier, so it's pretty shocking that he's just now getting to that. So it's a little bit of an adjustment because he just says no, or no you don't want it, to everything, even going on the potty. Also, he likes to ignore me when I tell him to do something, um, even though I know he knows what I'm telling him to do. Like just now, I told him don't touch the camera, and he proceeded to touch all the buttons on the camera, and so I told him to go to timeout. So, just, it's just him trying to figure out what boundaries he can push, and me trying to 
parent up almost three major for the first time, so. Everybody's learning. <laughs> but anyway, Porter has now moved on to the container of the peas, so. He likes everything but the peas. And Grayson's moving the camera. 